Hello, my YouTube friend. Woo! My hauls are backing up again. I've been working so hard trying to get stuff on Macari, working in a shop, dealing with records, that all the pop trades and purchases I've made recently are just piled up everywhere. So expect a few mega hauls in the next few days because I want to go through everything and pull out the duplicates for my store and uh, just make some fun videos for you guys to enjoy. So in this video, I'm going to show you this box full of Funko Pops. This box of Funko Pops. This box of Funko Pops. This box full of Funko Pops. This box full of Funko Pops. This box with Funko Pops. And finally, this box with Funko Pops. Okay, let's start with this box. It's not full of Pops. It's probably only about a third full, so it's not as many Pops as it feels like it's going to be. Still going to be a lot of Pops. So this box comes from a guy named Indranil. He traded them in a couple weeks ago, and I think I have two different little hauls from him. I don't know if they're both in this video, or there might be another video with his stuff. Uh, so let's dig into this box. Everything's been a few weeks since I got a lot of this stuff, so I don't remember everything I got. And I think he took store credit. Uh, okay, this is cool. We have a Star Wars Yoda. I love all the Halloween pops that they're releasing the promo photos recently. I can't wait to get those. Okay, we have an airplane cuphead. I'm actually out of cuphead pops in the shop, so I'm actually happy to get that. A couple of people have been asking for them. We have a Marsha Brady from the Brady Bunch. I don't think I have this one. So that one I'm putting into my collection. Okay, we have uh, Jasmine. This is her covered up. I think I have this one, so this one's probably going to be for sale. Okay, and then we have a Albus Dumbledore from the Crimes of Grindelwald. Pretty sure I have this one, so that one will be for sale. So a lot of just common pops. Nothing too exciting, but still it's fun to kind of show you guys what I got. Okay, this one is cool. I don't have this one yet. Alfred Hitchcock. I think that one I actually gave him 100% store credit. So what happens is most stuff with people trade them into my shop for store credit. I usually give them 60 to 75% of the PPG price in store credit. And then if it's a pop I really want, like Alfred Hitchcock, I love his movies. That's a pop I really wanted. So in that case, I will give you the full pop price guide price. I think I even gave some kids... More than Pop Price Guy, because Pop Price Guy was only at $7 for a couple Pops last week. So I ended up just giving the kids $10 a piece, because I really wanted the Pops. Okay, what do we have? Oh, we have Captain Crunch. So that will be a very popular Pop. And people will probably buy it within minutes of putting it out for sale. Okay, so that was the little trade I did with Indranel. All right. Okay, let's go through this box. Okay, this box comes from Kyle. He traded in, I think, a collection of Cuphead Pops. And he just got store credit. So I'm going to show you what I got from him. Okay, guy, cool King Dice. It's an E3 golden version. Love that pop. Really awesome pop. I think all these I have already, so they will be for sale in my shop. We have the Devil from Cuphead. I think my friend James wants that one, so I might actually hold that for him. Okay, we have... Ooh, we have the Cuphead Chase. This is cool. But I believe I do have that one. I believe I have all these, so they will be for sale. Some of them might be box upgraded because these look like really nice boxes. We have Mugman. That's cool. It's not as exciting for me if I have them already. All right, the Cagney Carnation. This one has a little bit of a dent in the back. I, uh, it's not, yeah, it's not as exciting if it's something I have already, but it's still fun to show you guys kind of what's been traded into my shop. I know some people are interested just to see what the trades are. Oh, okay, we have the Legendary Chalice. And I believe in this case, I gave him 75% of the pop price guide price, except for the one or two that had a little bit of damage. That I probably did about 60% trade. Uh, okay, we have King Dice. It's another chase. This is cool. And then we had Aeroplane Cuphead. So that's the second one this video. <laughs> so he's going to be in stock. Will stocked up. Uh, okay, we had the Walmart exclusive Cuphead. Pretty sure I have them. I have a feeling I might be missing one. But I feel like I have all of them, so I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to double check before I put them all out. Okay, and then last we have regular Cuphead. Cool. I love these pops. The Cuphead pops are some of my favorite. I just The character design is so good. Yeah, so in total, it says that I gave him $65 store credit. So I believe that was 75% of the pop price guide price for everything. Possibly 60% for a couple of the damaged ones. Okay, this, uh, all right, I'm going to do this box now. This box and the next box comes from Jared. He's one of the Jays, and they came in uh, a couple weeks ago. And so this was all trades for store credit. Again, I gave him 75% of the pop price guide price and stuff that he wanted. So let's see what we got. Okay, we got the Tekken King from Tekken. We got the... Oh, this is cool. Rocket with Groot. It's the Marvel Collector Core exclusive. That's a really cool pop. I think most of this stuff is stuff that's duplicate, so it will be in my shop pretty soon. Okay, we have... Uh, oh, this is cool. We have the Enfy's Nest. 
from Solo, I believe. Yeah, from Solo. I don't think I had that one yet. So that one I'm keeping. One of the few that I still need. Uh, ooh, we have the Touche Turtle Chase. I don't remember if I have this one or not. I might need the Chase. That one I might be keeping. Next we have... Oh, this one's cool. We have the previous exclusive Death. Cool character, cool pop. I don't remember if I got that one or not, so I might actually be keeping that one. And one I definitely want this. Oh, this is cool. We have Woody Woodpecker. Good old classic animated character. I love when they do pops of older animated figures. So this one I do have already though, so that will be for sale. So I love it. I would like to see a lot more of those older classic characters made. Uh, okay, next we have... Oh, we have the Aang on Air Scooter. This one, when I got them last, I got like 10 in a week. Sold all of them. So I'm happy to get another one because I'm sure someone will want it right away. Super popular pop. Uh, okay, next we have the 20th Anniversary Buzz Lightyear. This one I believe I have as well. Lots of duplicates. Again, like I said, this is all just stuff that's been traded in the last month or so. Uh, ooh, okay, we have Beetlejuice. I don't think I have this one yet. This is cool. So that one I'm keeping. Okay, awesome. I love getting pops that I need. And then we have... Oh, this is cool. We have the Hulk smashing Loki movie moments. I really love this set. This one, I believe I have already. So that one will be for sale. Still really cool, though. I mean, something like this, I don't mind if it sits around for a while. Just because it looks really cool on the shelf in the shop. Okay, so that was the first box from him. Okay. Okay. We got another trade from Jared. What do we got? We got... Okay, we have Yellow Jacket. That one I definitely have. We have... Eric Killmonger. I'm pretty sure I have that one as well. So a lot of duplicates. We have... Ooh, we have Spidey. This one, I might double check just to see if it's a box variant. But I'm pretty sure this is the one I have already. So I'm pretty sure that will be for sale. The older pops, I do like to check though. Because sometime in 2014, they switched the bottoms. So I have to see if it's one I need or not. Uh, oh, okay, very cool. We have the Baskin Robin Steve. Like I said, I've had three or four people trade these in recently, so I will have a few for sale. So in his case, since they're going for like $24.25 on Pop Price Guide, I believe I just gave him 75% in store credit. With everyone else that's traded them in, I pretty much paid the $14 or so they paid for them, and then gave him like additional $10 store credit for free, just for helping me out. So uh, I am well socked at these though. <laughs> I have them, I don't need more. Okay, and then the last thing we got from him is a, a cool movie moments, Finn versus Captain Phasma. I don't remember if I have this one or not. I might actually need that one. So really cool. I love these movie moments. This one I'm going to double check just in case. I just don't remember if I got it or not. So if I don't have it, that is awesome. Thanks for the trade, Jared. Okay, so this is another box from Indranil. I knew he traded to me a couple times. So again, he did the same thing. He got store credit, and I believe I gave him 75% of the Pop Price Guide price. I forget. I might give him 100% one or two of them. I forget. Oh, this is cool. So we got one of the Glows in the Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive Green Lantern Joyce Black and Blue. Love those pops. That one I'm pretty sure I got from Tommy and Nikki a month or two ago. So I believe that's a duplicate. And Oh, this is cool. We have the Entertainment Earth exclusive Carl, where he has a mustache. Cool pops. I mean, I love the Minions. I think they're fun characters. So that one I'm pretty sure I have already. So I'm pretty sure that one will be for sale. We have, oh, we have Batman. We had the previous exclusive Armored Batman from Batman to Dark Knight Returns. Very cool pop. I'm pretty sure I have that one already. So that'll be for sale. Ev. Oh, this is cool. We have the Ink Bendy from Bending the Ink Machine. Really awesome pop. I love the way these look. I believe the one I have, the box might be damaged. So that might actually be a box upgrade for me. Uh, oh, we have Farba from Super Troopers. Pretty sure I have that one as well. Still cool. I think that one's worth a little bit more. More than original retail, at least. Okay. Oh, this is cool. We have a Galactic Toys exclusive Unmasked Tommy. I don't know if this is... I don't know if the Galactic Toys are just overseas and the, this is also a U.S. version. Not 100% sure. All I know is I don't have this one with this sticker. I might have them on a different sticker. I kind of feel like I do. So I'm definitely keeping that one. That one's cool. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got another one. Ooh, we have the previous exclusive Superman from The Dark Knight Returns. I don't think I have this one. All right, that's really cool. I love when I can get a pop that I don't have. Awesome. Okay, we have, oh, we have the Sparkle Specialist. She's cool. Really like this pop. This one, I'm pretty sure I have already, so that one will be for sale. And a couple more in his box. Uh, oh, we have Migo from Smallfoot. I don't remember if I got this one. 
I know I have one or two from Smallfoot, but I don't know which ones I have. So this one I have to double check. I haven't watched the movie yet, so I don't know if it's good enough. But I do love Yetis and furry monsters, so I do want that full set. Or at least all the monsters. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we have the specialty series Emma Frost. Love the character, love the pop. I think I have that one. I think I just need the Halloween one or the... I think it was a Halloween one or a free comic book day one where she's like crystal. I think I still need that one. So that one I think is for sale. If I don't have it though, I'm really happy to get it. Thanks for the trades, Indranil. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go through this box. This came from a guy named Will. I believe... Did he get store credit? He might have been cash. I believe I gave him $156 cash. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't... It's been a while since I bought these. I try to leave notes with every purchase, but sometimes I'm just so busy that I lose my notes or I don't write enough to remember. <laughs> okay, let's start digging through here. Okay, we have a 2016 Galactic Convention exclusive Han Solo. Pretty sure I had that one already. Okay, we have the Forlom 2016 Galactic Convention exclusive. I actually don't remember if I ever got that one. I might actually need that one, which surprises me because I feel like I have every Star Wars one, or at least most of the older ones. Okay, interesting. I don't remember buying these at all. <laughs> Sorry, Will. Oh, cool. Okay, we have the Tony Stark holding the mask. I probably paid him a lot for this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one was a higher priced one. And I don't know if the price has gone down. I think I valued at 70, so I probably paid half of that. I don't know if he's gone up or down from 70. Either way, I have that one, so it'll be for sale. I just have to double check the price. Uh, okay, we have the least desired item that you could ever get and it's the enchantress rock candy it's a little dusty i i do sell maybe one every couple of months for like six bucks but definitely not an easy thing to sell okay next we have we have the Jin urso hot top exclusive pretty sure i have this one already so i'll go into my shop we have the Jin urso target exclusive pretty sure i have this one as well so i'll go into the shop Next we have, oh, we have the Captain Casey and Andor from Rogue One. It's a Target exclusive. I don't know if I have the Target exclusive. I get kind of mixed up on these since there's like two, three, four versions of each character. So that one I might have already. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> so this is one I missed and it was one of my top ones. So I'm super happy he traded it in. It's a Venomized Black Panther. It's a GameStop exclusive. Love it. Love those Venomized ones. That might be the last one I needed. Next we have, oh, we have another King Dice. So it's a King Dice Day, the golden one. I love this one. Very cool pop. Okay, next we have, oh, we have the 2016 New York Comic Con Bistan from Star Wars Rogue One. Pretty sure I have that one. So that one will be for sale. Cool pop though. I really like, I like this year's sticker. Every time I see that sticker, that just looks like a really cool con sticker. Uh, 2016 San Diego Comic Con exclusive BB-8. This is a really cool one where he's sticking out the little flame as like a thumbs up. Love that one. Pretty sure I have it already. Okay, and then we have a 2016 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Han Solo. Pretty sure I had that one as well. Okay, lots of duplicates. Uh, oh, this is cool, 2016 San Diego Comic-Con False God Superman. I really like this pop. I think it should have been made as a six inch pop, but still, every time I get it, I'm like, oh, that's cool. It's not really a good seller, but I'm sure someone will want it. Ooh, and then we have Oh, we have the 2016 New York Comic Con Hawk Girl. I think I have another one I just did in a video a couple videos ago, so I'll have a couple of these for sale pretty soon. Okay, the last one. Oh, this is cool. We have the Spaceland Zombie from Call of Duty. It's a Target exclusive. I can't remember if I have this one. If I don't have it, I definitely want it. So I'm really excited to get that. And if I do have it, I'm still excited to get it. <laughs> but he might be for sale. Okay, so that's everything that Will sold to me. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so let's go through this box. This is a box of stuff that a guy named Tolly traded to me. He was trading for Avengers Infinity War Spider-Man that he wanted to trade for. So I think he ended up trading me about $400 worth of stuff for the figure. Which, at the time, the figure was worth about $300. So I told him if he could give me like $100 more in value, I'd be happy to trade the Spider-Man. Sometimes you don't really want to trade one expensive item for a lot of cheaper items. Just because it takes less work to sell one item for $300 than 30 items worth you know, $10 each. But... Since he gave me a little extra value, I was willing to do the trade. And I think he made out too, because that figure has now gone up to like $350, $400. So actually it was like an even trade in the long run. But that's okay, because those I buy wholesale from my shop and they're really slow to sell. So I'm actually pretty happy to trade those occasionally. Okay, let's start going through this box. So in fact, 
I might have given him a little bit of cash too. I don't remember. It might have been partial for the Spider-Man and a few other things. Okay, let's dig in. Okay, we have a really cute Zero plush, the Pop plush. These I think I'm going to end up keeping. I don't really collect them yet. I really don't have any, but I think they're really cute. And I was just wondering, I don't really like the sell use plush because they're kind of harder to sell. But these are cute. Okay, and then we have a Pop Batman plush. Adorable little plushie. We have a Rocket Raccoon. I think this one came from one of the collector core boxes. He's super cute. Honestly, the plushy stuff, I probably didn't give them that much for. Maybe a couple bucks each in store credit. Just because uh, it's used plush are really hard to sell. Because most people just worry that they have bed bugs or like grossed out by them. They look brand new. Like he barely used them. He probably just threw them in a box. So I'm happy to keep them for my collection. So we have a Beetlejuice. He's really cute. Oh, we have a Sally. She's adorable as well. So if you guys want to trade plushies to me and they're brand new with tags, I'll trade for them. I just won't give you that much for them. Just again, for the same reason as I'm not so comfortable in the resale value of them. So I do, I'll buy a couple for my own collection, but I'm not really buying them for the shop. So we have Jack. He's really cute. These are actually a lot more adorable than I remember. I kind of like that they're pops, but in plushie form. I, actually, I really like them. <laughs> they're cute. Okay, he traded me some video games. We have a DS Jeopardy. I don't remember if I have these or not. I'll probably keep them if I don't have them. We have a deal or no deal. And this one was really cool. We have a Japanese pocket monster game, which I believe is complete in box. I thought that's cool. I love getting retro games from the 90s or earlier that are in the box. That is cool. And then we have a, a 2012 wrestling game for the PS3. I believe it's factory sealed. That I'll probably sell. I don't really collect wrestling games. There's a lot of cool pops in here. What I really like about the stuff that Tolly usually trades to me is he usually tries to trade me both the things or things that have a little bit more value. So usually when I trade with him, it's not so many commons, but a lot of like 12 to $30 items. So I really like that. Uh, oh, like this. This one is cool. The sticker's a little bit coming loose, but he's really awesome. We have the Man of Steel Domo. Limited to 1,008 pieces. It's a 2013 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I don't have that one. I love older limited pops like that. Definitely keeping that one. That one is amazing. We have, oh, we had the original Eve. I don't think I have her either. I was, this was one of my top wants, so I'm super happy to get that one. I forgot what Popsy had in here. This is cool. <laughs> okay, we have a Peasant Bell. I don't remember if I have her or not. I think I have her. I think I actually got her from Tommy and Nikki. So that one will probably be for sale. Okay, we have a Diamond Collection Ursula. She is cool. I don't remember if I have that one. That one I might actually need. I really like the Diamond Collection ones. Uh, ooh, we have the Kamikaze Captain America. Super cool. Now the box is a little bit damaged. So the price will be a little bit less than full market value. But I'm sure someone will want him. I have him already. So that one will be for sale. Awesome pop. And that's what I mean. When he trades and stuff like that, I'm really happy to get it. Ooh, we have the Rick Face Hugger. It's a GameStop exclusive. This one I don't think I have. So that one I'll be keeping. Cool pop. I love when they do Rick and Morty pops are a mashup of other genres. So, you know, it's an alien mashup. I love it. Ooh, we have Arlo from The Good Dinosaur. I don't remember if I have this one or not. That one I might actually need. And again, it's a bolted pop. Awesome. Uh, okay, next we have a Scary Terry from Rick and Morty. So, you know, he does throw in a few commons. But it's a cool common. I mean, come on. <laughs> I don't think most people would complain if that's the kind of pop they see in a shop for sale. Ooh, we have a Jungle Batman. It's a Funko Shop exclusive. This one, I'm pretty sure I have. So that won't be for sale. It's got a little bit of wear. And again, he does bring me a lot of stuff that's a little bit more worn that might be harder for him to sell or trade to someone else. I don't mind. I give him a little bit less of the value. Like if, I don't know what this is off the top of my head, but I'm assuming it was like a $20 pop. So what I would have done was I would have valued it at like $15 and then gave him 75% of that in credit, basically. Because I know if I, I mean, I don't know if it's worth that much. It might be worth more than that. But I know if I take a pop that's worth 20, that's a little bit scratched up and I sell it for 15. Someone's going to be happy to get it because they want it out of the box or they don't mind if it's beat up a little bit. They just want to have it. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, we have this cool double set. It's a Praetorian Guards from Star Wars. Is it The Last Jedi? So that set, I think I have already. So that'll be for sale. Next we have, oh, we have Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. I don't have that one yet. I like the shy, I, I like the Scooby Doo set. I need to get all the monsters. I'm kind of bummed I missed out on the one from the Funko Shop a couple weeks ago, but I'm happy to have Shaggy. Okay, we have Warrior Summer. That one I'm not sure if I have, so that one I might be keeping. That one I'm gonna have to triple check. 
Oh, this one's cool. So we have a Hatsune Miku crystal version. She's like translucent blue with glitter all in her. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. A lot of people ask me what my favorite pops are, and this is definitely one of my top five. Sometimes I think it's my favorite. Love this pop. I have it already, but I might keep a second one just because it's one of my favorites. I love it. I don't mind having the occasional duplicate if it's one of my all-time favorite pops. Plus, I think she's undervalued. She's like 15 to 20 bucks. I think she's almost too cool to sell for that price. Uh, oh, we have Mo Metal from Baby Metal. Love Baby Metal. This is cool. Definitely have that one already, so that'll be for sale. But I'm sure someone's going to be really happy to get her. Okay, next we have... We have Beth from Rick and Morty. I don't remember if I have Beth or not. I might actually need that one. Uh, we got some Mystery Minis. We got Five Nights at Freddy's. I know these will always be popular in my shop. Got those two. And then one Pokemon figure. Pokemon figures sell really well in my shop. Okay, that's one for Okay, we have the cool goofy Disney Dorbs. That one I don't think I have, so I'll be keeping that one. We have, ooh, this is cool. So we have a Barnes and Noble exclusive Flocked Elmo. I love Flocked Pops. I'm pretty sure I have this one already though, so that'll be for sale in my shop. But still, really cool pop. I like getting really cool $15 pops. Or more, I don't know, maybe he's worth more now. Ooh, we have Sue Metal from Baby Metal, awesome. So I definitely have that one as well, but still really awesome pop. I love the music theme pops. I wish they would make a lot more of those. Okay, next we have... Ooh, we have Cookie Monster. I know I have the flocked one. I got them a ton of times. I don't remember if I got the common. I might need that. There's a small chance that I'm going to keep that one. Okay, next we have... Ooh, we have Roman Reigns. I'm sure someone will want him. So he'll be for sale in my shop. Next we have... Oh, we have the regular Scooby-Doo. Really cool. Now his plastic is really like scuffed right here with shelfware. It looks like it was on something rubbing around like that. But the rest of the box is in good shape. Maybe a little bit of wear on the back. But I know I can polish that out. So I'm actually, I think I need that one. So I might be keeping that. I might polish them off anyway. Because I think that's an easy defect of repair. Uh, ooh, we have the Flock Beast Man. I love this one. It's a 2017 New York Comic Con exclusive. Awesome pop. I have it already though. So that will be for sale. Still, I, actually, I might have the New York one and not the fall convention. I might need that sticker. I'm going to double check that one. Cool pop. Uh, oh, okay, we have the Toys R Us exclusive Moss Man. He is really cool. This one will be for sale because I have that one already. Okay, next we have... Oh, we have the Spider-Man double Hikari set. The box has come loose here, but I'm going to put some archival glue glue right up. It'll be perfect. Very cool set. Definitely going into my collection. I really like these Hikaris in person. They look so much better than the Glam Shots. I just think they look really cool, so I'm definitely... I'll be keeping these. And I kind of want to collect more. They're super duper cheap. People get rid of these for like $5. Maybe $10. Either way, super cheap. Okay, next. Oh, from up we have Doug. Really cool pop. I'm not sure if I have this one. I think I might have the two exclusives, but maybe not the common. But I think the common has some value now. So that one I think I'm keeping. Okay, next we have... Ooh, this is cool. So I'm not a big sports figure collector, but I love the mascots because I just love that they're just fun and colorful and kind of cartoony so we have mariner moose i know this one has some value i don't have i'm not like a mariners fan i'm a yankees fan because i'm in new york city but i love the mascot so i'm definitely keeping that one and then finally one pop left in this collection and it's the spider-man homecoming spider-man so i think this one i have already this one will be for sale all right he's cool all right, thanks for the trade totally i really appreciate it there's actually a few things i want for my collection which is a bonus and tons of cool pops that I'm sure everyone's going to want to buy in the shop. I want to thank everyone that traded or sold me stuff for this video. I really appreciate it. It means I made content for you. I add stuff to my collection. And I put some stuff in the store for everyone to buy. So everyone's happy. I think in this video I narrowed it down to Domo. Superman is definitely my favorite. I love older limited pops. They're kind of hard to get. Uh, I don't think he's too expensive. But he's not, you know, he's not hundreds. But 50 maybe. I have to look him up. I forget. Either way, I'm super happy with that. I'm also really happy with the Eevee. This is one I really wanted, so I'm happy to get that. I love this movie. And also the Alfred Hitchcock. I think it's really cool when they make cool directors as pops. I love collecting those. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm able to do more videos like this more often. If you want to help me make more videos more often, I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching one of my videos and you enjoy this big mega epic Funko Pop haul, why don't you click the over his face to subscribe? Why not? I want to make more videos like this just for you. I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!